Hi guys, Nigel here with you, Nigel's Modeling Bench. Yes, new glasses. Um, and they match my Mustang. Look, see? Look at that there. Yes. Uh, right, so, quick video. Um, I've just realised I'm sat here working on this Border Models Lancaster, trying to get a video up for you tomorrow night. Today is Sunday, the 3rd of July, 2022. And as we all know, I try and get a video out every Monday at 7.30. But I've been busy with other stuff this week, and I only picked this up yesterday, so trying to get a, a sort of good hour, hour and a half video up for you together. Currently working on engines and stuff, going really, really nicely. It is absolutely stunning. I know a lot of you have been emailing me and telling me you've got your kits. A few of you had issues with your clear parts. Go back to the person you bought the kit from, send them a photograph of the damage you've got, and I'm sure they'll be able to sort you out. Um, that's with the clear parts. With the other sprues, I do not know, but I know that Border Model were aware of the clear part issue, so I think they're probably handling things a bit differently with clear parts other than the, than anything else. Um, so as I say, today is Sunday the 3rd of July 2022. Yesterday, Saturday, all scale modelling, that's OZ scale modelling, not AUS, OZ scale modelling. Peter runs that channel. Go take a look, give him a subscribe. He's just done a full, full proper inbox review. It's like over an hour long. Uh, of the brand new 1200 scale Yamato, although it doesn't say Yamato on the box, from Gallery Models or the other one or Glow2B, whatever it is. I can't think of the third name now. But um, anyway, yes, yeah, it's, it's Trumpeter. Okay, it's a Trumpeter 200 scale ship. It looks absolutely stunning. It looks like for the first time in their 200 scale range, they've actually got the shape of the hull correct. Look at the bow, it's absolutely beautiful. And the way they've done that, rather than having the stupid excuse of having to mold the hull in one piece no yeah they've made it in two halves so that way you can get that really slender sort of when you look at the bow you get that lovely you know you get the rounded bullet at the bottom it comes in really thin and then goes out and of course to do that in one piece you'd have to have a tool that is able to collapse and produce that yeah. so um or they do it separately like they did on bismarck which is all out of shape or you just make a complete mess of it like they've done with the yorktown and everything so um Go take a look at that. Give him a like. Give him a subscribe. He'll be building it soon. Uh, Peter Oscar Modley, he claims to be a beginner. If you look at some of his work, I mean, he is an absolute master with Photo Etch. And he's done mainly ships. He's doing a tank as well at the moment. And I think he's working on a, a rescue craft as well from Ravel. But, um, yeah, I mean, I reckon he's going to be picking up that Yamato sooner than he thinks he is. Because I don't think he'll be able to help himself. But uh, looks like a beautiful kit. For those of you who are interested in buying it, I have been looking around, um, and there was a lot of people talking about sort of six, seven hundred pound and stuff. I, if you're on Amazon, um, you can get it on Amazon. This is in the UK now, on Amazon UK for four hundred and five pounds plus thirteen pounds delivery. I have found it today on eBay for two hundred and eighty-eight pounds plus thirteen pounds delivery. So that's like three hundred odd quid um all in or maybe it's 16 pounds but um yeah maybe it was 298 but i can't remember but basically it's about 300 quid 310 quid all in uh delivered now probably going to get customs on top of that but it's going to be 60 70 pounds so it's going to you know if we get away with it then great but if we don't it's going to be still this side of 400 pounds which is still cheaper than getting it from amazon and the delivery time is also quicker on ebay than it is on amazon so if you are thinking of getting one look it up glow 2 b uh, is the is the company to look for it seems that that's the one europe's getting it looks like america is getting gallery and the rest of the world is getting the one that oz has got and i can't think of the name of the bloody manufacturer now but um and I reckon it's all to do with licensing because I noticed on Oz's review, it does not say Yamato anywhere in his instructions on the box. Nowhere does it say Yamato. Um, the MRC one has Yamato and a Japanese flag on the box. And the um, the one we have, the MRC gallery one, should I say, and the one we have, glue 2 b appears to have a sticker on the box. So if you get one, let me know how you get on. So um, that was all I wanted to say. And also another couple of things. I haven't done a um, monthly update and I've just realised that this afternoon. So I'll try and get one of those done for you in the morning with all the thank yous and everything. So we'll get that done. And also, um, if you are around tonight on YouTube, 8pm UK time, um, look up Ice Queen 7 is our channel. Uh, the Sunday live stream is on there with Sue, Paul and Chris. 
and um, I'll be there in the chat as well. I'll probably be working on this model, so probably just have it on in the background, but making the odd comment now and again. But um, yeah, and, and they're threatening to get me on there one day. I don't know. I'm a bit shy, to be honest. But anyway, um, go have a look at that tonight, 8 p.m. Um, on YouTube, Ice Queen 7. Get on there, have a quick look, give it a like. It's usually a really good laugh. There's not a lot of modelling going on. It's a lot of piss-taken banter, to be honest. But um, she also looks through the, I think she does it on a Sunday. She goes through her Facebook page as well and uh, looks at all the um, entries she's had in there. It may only be on a Tuesday she does that, actually. But she's on every every Tuesday, I think, 7.30 and every Sunday at 8 o'clock. So go take a look and, uh, like I say, give her a like, subscribe or whatever and um, give her a thumbs up because she likes thumbs up. Yeah. Right. So I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.